when nobody else does it. This is going to be as difficult as that baby I molded in Paracas. And I've given this a lot of thought over the night. Uh, a hound of I can mold that skull. So I'm going to look at another one from Paracas here or something similar. This is a Chango's adult that I cast. What I'll have to do is, I think, <clears throat> make the split down through here, through there. I had to build a false. Uh, covering there so that it'll separate off like this. Wait for the latex to test to dry. You, you see how impossibly thin this skull is back there. See the light coming through it? What I'm going to do is <clears throat> make a <clears throat> temporary patch over this magnum foramen. And so a little bit of mold material right around the edge of the rim. And put this on there so that I can mold over this hole. Now I gotta make some clay separations here. So far all it's doing is cleaning it. Okay, it didn't do anything to the white residue, whatever that stuff is. Good. So now I'll start filling all the, the holes here so the mold doesn't catch hold of them and tear them up. I'm going to start stuffing the uh, <coughs> holes here so I can't mold that deep without destroying the skull. Next thing I do is get a board here. It'll be the uh, support for the mold. Cover in clean plastic in this case. Tape it off. Uh, using the cast of the Chongo skull, I'm going to make a sort of a bed, stationary bed for the other skull. So something about it like that, preparing for the next, for the real skull. Okay, looking at the, um, the cloth here, this cloth is just sitting there. It's very, very fragile. And unless I harden it, see that? There's no way I can mold that without it coming right up. I can mold it, but it'll take it right off of the object. So, I'm going to have to talk to everybody and see what they want to do with it. Could take it off, and they could analyze it, but it can't be left on there and mold without it ruining it. Friday the 10th of February here. I am going to remove the uh, bit of cloth here in the nose area and put on this clean bag here and then put in another bag and then put it in storage. <coughs> Instruments here have been uh, sterilized in alcohol. Oh, I hope it isn't just disintegrate. That's what it looks like it's going to do. So fragile. Man, oh man, oh man. 
Okay. There's a fabric from the inside. Here it is in a clean clay or plastic bag. Okay, we're going to harden up the cloth with part of polyvinyl acetate. Very soft brush, clean. You see this has uh, gotten hard now. Okay, I'm going to pull this back, coat it on the other side, and then put it back in place. Expect the latex to cure out on its own inside the skull. Has it changed the surface of the bone any? Use a broken toothpick here. It won't affect the skull any. But it will make this stuff pick up. Coat this. And we'll just recoat this, put it right back down. Okay, and there we go. Back in plus. I'm down here to keep the mold going, so I've got <clears throat> the first half done or laid in in, in latex <clears throat> where the mold has to go through between the zygomatic <clears throat> arch and in the eye. Those have been uh, coated with wax so they'll separate. So now it's just to uh, lay down a more, another coat or two and uh, put scrim on there for a, a heart for a uh, stabilizer. So I'm going to bring this on down beyond half and uh, then the mother mold will come right in here and then when I turn it over I'll just join this two, these two halves and the whole thing will come apart like a bellfold like that. I can't get much thicker on all of these uh, little fragile paper thin bones down here without damaging so it's going to be a very thin mold. Put the first layer of scrim on this thin material here and uh, fusing it to the <coughs> layers of latex in here. So the 12th, February 2017. <coughs> okay, the one half of the mold is done and uh, scrimmed. <coughs> so I'll come in tomorrow, put another mold on all of this over to right about here. Then I'll turn it over. <coughs> Take the clay and everything off and start the other side. And Tuesday evening, it should be cured. So I can pull it and give it maybe Wednesday to cure and cast it sometime Wednesday night or Thursday and <clears throat> paint it Friday. Trying to figure out how to all these lower jaws here so if they want trap air I'm trying to remember how I did this one so I'm going to pull the clay tighter in here I'm going to smooth this out with wax it's too rough make a bad pour spout
It's uh, 845, <clears throat> still Tuesday night, the 14th, February 2017. I continue to work down here and finally got the molds are completely done except <clears throat> some infills I've got to do here tomorrow with the mother molds. So that'll take one, two, three, four, uh, five mother molds there on that one. Um, I can't get away with two on this one. So they're pushing to have me get that stuff there Thursday. I don't see how there's any way. Work all day tomorrow on the molds. The mother molds, but I can't pull them too soon or they'll run it. It'll ruin them. So Thursday, I might be able to cast. But it'll take me several hours just to paint one. Now I gotta pack them and get them to the airport. I don't know. It's like an impossible deadline. Still Monday the thirteenth. Let's just go. Right side. And I've marked where I'm gonna put my mother mold here. And that's what I'm defining here now. I have to make a separate mother mold piece here. I think I'll come out here like that. So now I'm building up a, a wall here that I can put my mother mold over and be tight. So this will be the uh, first section of mother mold here. Oh no, that, that worries me right there, that undercut, that gimmick. Can't afford to damage this skull. To make the split here, I use clay uh, without tape, so it'll give me a tighter fit in there. Yeah. All the parts are molded on the right side of the skull, except this one. That's next. And uh, I've got these bolted together over here. So as this one's dry, uh, hardened, I'll bolt it here and there. This has been sitting all night. <clears throat> I'm going to drill it now so I can bolt it together and turn it over. Fourteenth of February, I'm going to turn the uh, whole thing over so I can take uh, the clay and stuff off. Now I'm going to remove the clay from the latex. I have to make sure that I don't peel the latex up away from the mother mold.
notice the loose tooth. Alright, come on out. Now for the all critical wax. If you don't wax the first half of the latex, your mold is run. This I'm very paranoid about. As I was saying, you have to remember which one of these is waxed. Is it this side or that side? In this case, it's this side over here. Oh, brother. I have to split this. I can't do anything more until I split that. So I'm going to wax all this and put that in. Dead damn it! Anyway, that makes me mad. That's why it's not good to be in such a rush on these things. Got clay filling that now. That'll be my separation on this half. So I join it to the existing one that's already made here on that side. So now I gotta wax all this when we get that clay up. Hopefully I won't bump that and knock it out, which will really be bad. I'm gonna start the wax now. Now this part is gonna stay connected, so I'm not gonna wax it, just the, the bleed <coughs> spout here. So now it's entirely coated except between the zygomatic arch there. I gotta let that cure up, pull it off, wax it, and start it the second half. <coughs> Teeth here, I'm waiting for them to drown on the underside. Now I'll come through the little tiny bit of wax between the two so they'll separate and then coat them and then uh, hopefully by the end of the day <coughs> the rubber part will be finished. I can mother mold Wednesday. Pull Thursday, cast Friday, paint Friday. Oh, I don't know how. Okay, it's packed. Now put some air on it. All right. There it is. Another robo call. You've just been qualified for a quarter million dollars. Taking the first side off of the skull mold. It works. Let's see. Now we'll bolt these back together.